Welcome to the live show. My name is Herman Chow. I am your fairy godmother. I am a portrait and personal branding photographer based in the Netherlands. Today, I have the privilege to invite my guest, Judy, on the show to talk about something which I hardly talk about on the show, and that is talking business. So good to see you, Judy. Oh, Herman, <laughs> thank you so much for inviting me. It's such a pleasure. I'm, I'm so grateful that you have accepted this invitation to share your insights on a topic that is often misunderstood by a lot of people, right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> yeah, so before we dive into this subject, I believe that you are the best person to introduce yourself to the audience, where you're from, what you do. Oh, well, thank you, Herman. Um, I'm Judy Murray, and I live uh, in Toronto, just north of Toronto, Canada. And uh, I'm a Canadian. I, you know, born and raised here, uh, but have had an opportunity, you know, to do international travel, which I love. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. you know, it's been, you know, curbed a little bit, uh, quite a bit. Uh, I have two, you know, grown children who are entrepreneurs. I have two grandchildren. I love, wow. I love to garden. I love art is my passion. And um, being an entrepreneur is also a passion of mine. You look great as a grandma. Oh, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> How old are your grandchildren, if I may ask? I just turned uh, five, and one will be um, uh, eight uh, in a few days. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> it is. Yeah, so um, today we're going to talk about network marketing, what you do not know about network marketing. Yes. Um, to kick off the show, maybe you can let the audience know what exactly is network marketing. You know, network marketing, you know, so many people say, what is that? Or I know what that is, but they really don't. Um, network <laughs> marketing, network marketing, really, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's about, it's international distribution. It's, it's, it's word of mouth marketing, you know, instead of buying a product or service from a store, um, you know, you're buying it from either your own website and you're getting it wholesale, you're buying it, you know, um, uh, from a friend or from a relative or someone you may know. And, um, and you tell other people about it, or you may not tell other people about it. But really, it's, it's all about uh, buying products and services um, from other people, and it's all word of mouth. I don't see why people don't tell people about it, if, if the things are good. Well, <laughs> it's all about sharing. Yeah, you know, it's the oldest form of, mm. of, of selling. It's the oldest form of building a business, of selling your wares, of selling your fruits and your vegetables and your land. And it's all, it's all word of mouth. And, you know, usually, and most often we bought, we like to buy products and services from people we know, like, and trust. Mm -hmm. That's exactly, it. that's really it. And someone said, well, you know, you know, you want to make money from me off me? Well, yes, I do. <laughs> You know, and, 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 let, let, and let me tell you, let me just put this into perspective. You know, if you were to open a clothing store, if you were to open a restaurant, you know, when you have people coming into your store and they're buying your services, they're, you know, they're, they're buying your food, they're buying your whatever it is you're, you're selling. Yes, of course, this is a business like anything else. Mm -hmm. And um, so does that answer your question? Because I can go. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> And by the way, I want to say hello to Gabriel and Ava. They are actually watching us right now live. Hello, hello Gabriel and Ava. <laughs> yeah, what actually motivated you to go into network marketing of all kinds of businesses? Well, you know, it was way back when I've been in this industry well over 30 years. Wow. And I uh, got involved when our children were, were still in diapers, actually. They were very small. And we were barely living paycheck to paycheck. And, you know, I've always had that entrepreneurial thinking, but really couldn't afford, didn't have the funds to actually start a business. And mm -hmm. when we were approached with this, uh, it, you know, about this industry, we, um, it was from someone that I, uh, it was a family member, love her, but um, she really didn't. And I'm, I'm telling you this for a reason, because it's probably going to go into the next, you know, the next thing I'm going to talk about. Um, she gave me a piece of paper and put it under my nose and said, you can do this. Here you go. I think you guys would be great. And I looked at this piece of paper and it didn't make sense to me. It just had numbers on it. And I thought, and my husband said, we're not doing anything like this. And I thought, oh, I really didn't understand what it was. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, six months later, she came up to our house and, uh, she's, and she knew I was not a happy camper because, you know, she was showing us that thing. Right. And um, she said, look, 
this is what changed our lives. She said, and I'll never forget it. It was October uh, 4th, 1988. She, that day changed. Wow. Okay. And she said, um, I want you to look at a video. Mm -hmm. And I want you to look at this. I promise you, and this is what the, the clincher, I promise you, after you look at this, if you're not interested, I promise I will never bother you again. I said, fair enough, because she was bothering us for six months. So, I said, <laughs> so you are still in that business from I, 4th October. Yes, 1888. Oh, wow. So, Amazing. But at that time, sorry to interrupt. At that time, did you have a nine to five job? When, when she showed you the video? Nine to five job. I had a 24 hour job raising small children. Very oh, that's, children. that's a full-time job. That's a full-time <laughs> job. My husband had a full-time job, yes. And I was a very busy mom, you know, raising two small children on my mm. own city that where we didn't know anyone, didn't have any friends because we just had moved there. So um, I was on my own, didn't have family or anyone to help. So right. yeah, it was hard. So after watching, I can imagine. <laughs> So after watching that video, you decided to give it a try. Well, yes. After after watching the video, the, you know, the clincher, yeah, my husband was sitting beside me very annoyed that I had, uh, you know, agreed to even look at this video. <laughs> <laughs> so um, after looking at the video, what, yes, we got involved because my husband looked at me and says, we're doing this. And what really changed our mind about it, it, it was like an aha moment. Mm -hmm. where it wasn't my cousin that because she couldn't explain it she had no credibility with me really love her but no credibility you know she's driving a beat up old car rusted car and um you know was about to fall apart so i thought you know how can how can you make money at this when you're driving a rusted car <laughs> so what i did is i looked at these average people right giving incredible lifestyle testimonials on the product as well as the business and i thought wow you know if they can do it i can do it too we were look we were looking for something where we could have a better life and, and um you know have money at the end of the month you've made me curious you talk about products so what exactly are you distributing internationally in your right. network marketing i well i've you know been involved with this amazing company for seven years and it's called Jeunesse Global. Jeunesse. Jeunesse, J-E-U-N-E-S-S-E, -S -S -E, which means uh, youth in French. Sounds French. Uh, jeunesse. Yes. Jeunesse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Comment ça va? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's called Jeunesse Global. And, and I think it's important for, you know, people who are, you know, listening or looking at, you know, this. You know, we were with another company for seven years, and I'm telling you this for a reason, Herman. We were with another company for seven years, and uh, we ha we had built a massive uh, mm -hmm. uh, business, and uh, really we didn't have to work. It was the lifestyle was unbelievable, and uh, but we were really miserable. We were really unhappy, and mm -hmm. it wasn't because of the money. The, you know, the income was incredible. It was because of the owners, and again, I'm telling you this for a reason. It was the owners, and it was the you know, the, it was just a toxic environment. So we spent right. a year and a half, almost two years looking for our home mm -hmm. and because we knew what we wanted and did not want in a company. So we really searched and the owners and the company and the product and the passion and the, the scientific advisory board, everything, we had a whole criteria list. And then we got a call from very dear friends of ours and uh, Paula Pritchard and Kathy Robbins and, um, we flew down and spent four days with these people and saw this huge heart, hearted company. Mm -hmm. Saw our our home. So what kind of products does Jeunesse distribute? We have youth enhancement products. We have, you know, products that are backed by solid, solid science. Uh, products that really work. Mm -hmm. And products that are making a, an incredible, a significant, a significant, significant difference. <laughs> people couldn't say that word significant uh difference in people's lives and um it, it's it's been an incredible journey for sure and uh, they've won numerous awards and i just i just uh i just think we you know we made the right decision i think you did because you're earning good income right now and we have another audience Lori. Lori lee watching from south africa welcome to the show now this business um is often misunderstood by by people why do you think they have this misconception about network marketing you know 
a number of reasons, and, and I'll, I'll just cover a few because it's okay. a yeah. um, You know, the reason a lot of people have, you know, um, misguided information is because of the way they have been maybe approached from mm -hmm. someone they know or a family member or someone they don't know, and they've either been attacked, and I use that word because uh, that's, that's what happens when people get involved um, in this industry is, um, you know, they, they either didn't go through the training Mm -hmm. or they haven't worked on personal development which is huge or they just um they just have no idea how to build a business and um i think because they've been approached the wrong way and and number two you know maybe they've heard from an uncle or a next door neighbor that's not successful oh i tried that years ago it mm -hmm. doesn't work you know okay why didn't it work you know like consider your source <laughs> why didn't it work Maybe they didn't attend the training. Maybe they weren't coachable. Maybe they didn't work on personal development. There's so many reasons why. And, you know, we always had that on that, that prosperity mentality. Sometimes people will approach other people and uh, that person has a poverty mentality. Mm -hmm. So I like to compare it to this. You know, if you walk into, a, let's say, a, 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 a clothing store, and that salesperson just jumps all over you and attacks you whenever you go in there. You think, okay, I'm done here. I'm never going in there again. Mm -hmm. Does it mean that I'm not going to, you know, go into any, you know, any other clothing store? No, I just won't go into that particular one or deal with that particular person. So, you know, it's, um, there's so many reasons why. You just have to, um, you know, you have to take, like I did. I had preconceived ideas, and so did my husband, what this was all about. Until mm -hmm. I saw a video, and I, I, I checked out the facts. I was given factual information on what the industry and what the company was all about. So I think it's just they, they've, people, pardon my expression, but poo-poo this because <laughs> they haven't, they don't have an open mind or they've been approached the wrong way, and they've just based their opinion on that one particular piece of information. So they start to bad mouth this business globally. And then, well, you know what? It, it, and that's how it started. Well, yeah. I mean, we've come a long way for sure. I mean, you know, the, the, you know, Herman, the good thing about this industry is that anyone can, you know, register, sign an application and start building the business. The bad thing about this industry is that anyone can sign an application. Mm -hmm. And, so, and start their business. And, you know, that's why training, I'm such an advocate on training and verbiage and what you say, your approach. And, you know, it's because it's all about what other people want. It's the questions you ask other people. Right. You no, know, I mean, take the dollar sign off their forehead and truly help them find a solution um, in their life. And a lot, you know, there are people who just, um, who don't do that because they don't take the time to go through the training. They're not coachable. They think, oh, I've been in sales for, you know, 30 years, or I've been in sales for a long time. Mm -hmm. I know how to do this. Yeah. And they, they don't. just, they just don't have an open mind about it. Well, they don't have an open, yeah, exactly. Very often when you approach someone on network marketing, the first thing that comes into the mind is, is that MLM? That nasty three letters, three letter word. <laughs> so what are your thoughts about you know people associating MLM with network marketing? Well, it really is it, is it a really a bad word? No. You know what I say if something and they're the same thing, really. What mm -hmm. I, because I mean you take a look at you know companies like Mary Kay, Tupperware, you know, I mean, you oh, know, Tupperware. <laughs> all the set, I mean, hey, it's a direct sales network marketing company, really. But when someone asks me, um, oh, is that MLM? And I'll yeah. say, yes, isn't that a brilliant business model? They go, what? As if, okay, what am I missing? So if someone says, is that MLM? Is that network marketing? I say, oh, you see, it's all about your posturing. It's about yeah. your posturing. Yes, but isn't that a brilliant business model? It seems that they are very reluctant to, to continue with a conversation once you start with, oh, this is MLM business. You so know, how do you approach that? Well, I always say if they, they I, I, uh, well, I ask them, I say, you know, why, why you seem a little reluctant? Why are you so yeah. reluctant to some of this information, <laughs> to the information? And they'll say, oh, I, you want to find out why, mm -hmm. why, what have they heard? What have they done? Well, I've been in it before. It doesn't work. Or my uncle did it and lost all his money. Well, number one, 
You cannot, that is totally incorrect, a, a misconception. You cannot lose money in this industry. You just can't. And the reason being is you're either going to use the product yourself Mm -hmm. because they're they're that good and that's why you got involved in the company because you believe in the company you believe in the product and you at that time you believed in the opportunity so you believe in the product so i take the product or you sell the product or you market the product to people who already use it it's called it's called redirected spending so if someone says that to me i just want to know why you know tell me you're a little reluctant <laughs> you know what, what you know there is something holding them back <laughs> exactly like why did you have did you have a bad experience with it oh no everyone and their mother's after me i'll say well then you must be that good <laughs> you know i always believe that you know when you want to know whether a pear is tasty or not you have to taste it i know and if you want if you want to know whether network marketing is good or not you have to experience it yes right I mean, don't just blame on the product or whatever it is because of some reasons which cannot be explained. <laughs> well, and you know what? When when someone you know has that attitude, I'll say, well, look, look tell, tell me a little bit about what you do. I take it off of that, the network marketing. I want to know about them. What do they do? You mm -hmm. know, what do, you do? What are you looking for in life? I hope you don't mind me asking you, but you know, what, what, what are you looking for in life? You know, right. what's your goals? What are your dreams? And I'll say, well, hey, you know what? If you keep an open mind, I, I'd love you to take a look at this brilliant business model. And, and you, the bullet points about a company, their facts and what they've done, you know, I mean, we've won hundreds of awards outside of the network marketing industry. And, you know, I also say to people, look, it's a brilliant business model. That's why a, a, there are a lot of Fortune 500 companies taking mm -hmm. this, this brilliant business model because it is a brilliant business model. <laughs> it is, definitely is. We have um, Simona watching Simona. us. Shamala. Uh, Simona Mattes and from Germany and one lady called Shamala. Hi guys, welcome to the show today. I have Judy on the show talking about what do you not know about network marketing? Talking about um, this business, what advice can you give to people, especially to housewives who tell you that, oh, my focus is my family. I have two young children. I don't have time. <laughs> How do you do that? How do you approach them? Okay. Oh boy, this is a good one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, homemakers. I call them homemakers. Homemakers. Yeah. Homemakers, or or, or you know, because I mean, it, it is a hard job. I'll tell you. Um, I always say to them, if they say I don't have time, I'm raising a family, blah 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 blah. I'll say, you know, where's your where's your iPhone or where where's your where's your mobile phone? Oh, it's right here. It's usually in their purse or right beside them or their counter. It's all you know, it's somewhere. Mm -hmm. And I'll take out your phone. I'll say, can you send a video? And they'll say, well, yeah. Then you can do this business. Yes. You can. They can do this business. And and I always say to them, you not only can you do this business and sending a video, you have an incredible support team. Look, always look for an incredible support team because if you're that busy, you can say, Herman, you can say, hey, Judy, I have someone who's really interested, but I I am so busy, I'm up to my eyeballs right now working. Um, can you give them a call or um, I'd like you to contact them or they need some help. I'll say, no problem, Herman. And I'll call them. I'll say, okay, let's work together. Who do you, you know, what, what can I do to help you? The help and support in this industry is truly phenomenal. I mean, people are there to really help and support you. And if mm -hmm. you're not keying in with the person that, you know, sponsored you or, the, or, or, or your, your, uh, I call it your support. I don't use network marketing or MLM lingo. It, it, I just don't. So I always say, look, at your support team here um, or your executive team or your support team is really here to help you. And you work with them as a team. This is a team. It and is. that's why it's called network marketing. Mm -hmm. You work as a team together to help each other. And I mean, you're not successful. I mean, if you're not successful, I'm not successful. I mean, what a brilliant way to build a business. You are a good example to be successful in this network marketing because you started in 1988 did you say that <laughs> 4th october 1988 <laughs> and it's time to celebrate your success so judy um to wrap things up can you give three golden tips how to overcome the fear of network marketing to overcome the fear you have to believe in it yourself i mean you know mm -hmm. you have to get over that fear and the thing that's and i you know that's rampant rampant in this world is we care too much about what other people think about us. 
Yes. You know, we think that sucks. Much, we think too much about other people's opinions. And, um, you know, you, you have to really believe in, first of all, this is super important. You have to really believe in the company. You have to believe in the product. You have to believe in, you know, in, in, in the industry of network marketing. But most importantly, you have to believe in you. Yeah. That, that it's possible for you because thousands of people every day are signing a network marketing application. Thousands. Mm -hmm. And because Fortune 500 companies, regular traditional business companies are now, you know, either have some type of, of a network marketing model or are looking very, you know, at this industry to um, distribute products and services because it just makes sense, especially now. With a lot, you know, with what we're the whole globe is going through right now. Yeah, yeah. And the last thing would be, and it's really critical, um, is personal development. You mm -hmm. need to work on you because if you have a poverty mentality, you're not going anywhere in whatever you do. You're, you're never going to reach your goals or your dreams or help yourself or your family with a poverty mentality. So personal development, develop that prosperity mentality. And I have to recommend one book because it is so good and it has helped so many people and yeah. overcome, overcome that. And it's called Mindset. I By who? My, uh, oh, okay. I, Mindset. I, I did, I, oh my gosh. You know what? I'll, 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 oh, it doesn't matter. Mindset. If I can add something, did you say mindset? Yeah. If I can add something about believing in the products, Try it yourself to oh see whether it is helping you or not. You know, may I just add one thing? I know we're probably sure, sure. <laughs> um, and that's why I believe so much in these products. I mm. was diagnosed with inflammatory osteoarthritis where I, I couldn't do this. I like to, mm -hmm. I know, I like to garden, I like to paint, I like to, you know, and it was awful. It was just so sore and so painful. I started taking the product called Reserve, unbelievable, the number one product in the world in this company. And, um, it, it, it what I, I know say? that's that's one of the most amazing. popular products within Jeunesse Reserve. Amazing, it's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> it is. Oh, by the way, Laurie has uh written the author of the book, Carol Dweck. Dweck, that's yeah? it. That's it. Yes, oh, thank awesome. You. Thank you, Laurie. <laughs> it, it is, and you know what? I think every parent, every teacher, everyone everyone needs to read that book it, and it's not a big it's it's not a big read but it's so good so good good so if you are you know challenging i'm um, challenged by some health issues and want to try some of the products that that are really amazing within Jeunesse, contact judy or myself or Herman. and <laughs> yeah or if you want to earn a passive income you can always contact us as well so thank you so much for your time today judy oh her insights <laughs> You know, with this time went so quickly. Thank you so much for your, uh, you know, for, for being there. I admire your work. I greatly admire what you do. You are amazing. I love your work. So my pleasure. I'll speak to you soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye.